Hi everyone, welcome to Apple Tech page. In this tutorial, I will show you how to fix mobile phone billing is temporarily unavailable. Please try again later error on iPhone or iPad. Solution 1 is turn on and turn off airplane mode. To do that, launch settings app on your iPhone or iPad. Now enable airplane mode, unlock your device. Then wait for few seconds. Next, unlock your device and disable airplane mode again. Solution 2 is restart your device. Tap on settings icon from the home screen. Now scroll down the screen and tap on general. Again scroll down the screen to bottom and tap on shutdown. Next, drag the slider power off slider to turn off. Wait for a minute and turn it on back. Solution 3 is check for software update. Updating your device to latest version of software may help you to get rid of this issue. First, connect your iPhone or iPad to Wi Fi and go to settings app. Next, find and tap on general. Now tap on software update. If update available, tap on download and install. Make sure that your device has charged above 50%. Solution 4 is reset network settings. This process resets your all Wi Fi networks and passwords, APN and VPN settings, and cellular settings. To start this process, go to settings app. Next, find and tap on general. Then scroll down the screen and tap on reset at bottom. Next, tap on reset network settings. Now enter the passcode of your device if prompted. Finally, tap on reset network settings to confirm this process. Solution 5 is update your payment information. If you changed any details in your payment method, then you should update it on your device. To do that, go to settings app. Next, tap on your name. Now tap on iTunes and App Store. Next, tap on your Apple ID. Then tap on view Apple ID. Here you have to tap on manage payments or payment information. Now select your payment method. Then you might need to enter the security code that's printed in your credit or debit card. Update the information and tap done. If you want to add a new payment method, then tap on add payment method and enter the details of your card and tap done. If you want to delete the card, tap on edit at right top of the screen and tap on minus icon to remove. Once done, restart your device and add it back. Solution 6 is reset all settings. This process won't delete any data on your device but all your customized settings go back to default settings and your Apple card will be removed. First, go to settings app. Then tap on general. Next, tap on reset at bottom. Select reset all settings. Next, you will be asked to enter the passcode. Again tap on reset all settings to confirm this process. Solution 7 is force restart your iPhone or iPad. If you are using iPhone 6s plus and earlier models then do the following steps. Press and hold the home button and side button at the same time until you see the Apple logo. If you are using iPhone 7 or 7 plus then do the following steps. Press and hold the sleep or wake button and volume down button at the same time 
until you see the Apple logo. If you are using iPhone 8 and later models, then do the following steps. First, quickly press and release the volume up button. Next, quickly press and release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. Thanks for watching. Do like, share and subscribe to Apple Tech page.